Yes, Flugels. Remember that time I was so brave that I single flugledly <laughs> caught that potato before it's... Yes, Captain. Flugels, look! The secret door, at last! The humans have left it open! They certainly have! Looks like... The perfect time for even more heroic flugeling! <laughs> this place is amazing! It's like a deep, dark cave in here! Actually, Boomer, it's a closet. But Junior Flugel Boomer does have a point, Flo. For a team of mighty explorers like us, it's a treasure trove. Whoa! This thing I'm standing on feels so... exotic! That would be a raincoat. Huh, a raincoat. Oh, wow, how exciting. And I love... Be careful, Boomer. It's... Uh, slippery. Mom! Google it. Small humans closing in. Dive, dive, dive. Can we get the tent out now? Tent? What a great word. It sounds so... Shh. Sure, honey. Yes. The coast is clear. Yes, it is. And now we can figure out what this tent thing is. Team? We found today's project. What are we? We're Flugels! Flicker! Boomer! Whoa! We find, question, and explore everywhere we go! Wow, that must be the tent. But it looks so different out here in the light. Time to investigate, Flugels. <laughs> An orange inorganic shapeshifter. Yes, they are very mysterious beasts indeed. Team, we need to investigate. Got everything, kids? Blue alert! Strange orange thing investigation on hold. Hit him! <sighs> oh, I forgot the tent pegs. <gasps> Come on, let's explore. Oh, it's big and floppy. Maybe it's a blanket. It feels just like that raincoat I slipped on in the closet. You know, you might be onto something there, Junior Flugle Boomer. Maybe it's a big raincoat for grass. Let's give it the old Flugel waterproof test. Junior Flugel Boomer. Okay. Ready. Huh? It is waterproof. I'm dry. I'm dry. Oh, thank Flug, I'm dry. Thanks, Dad. Moment. Let's set it up here. Okay, get the pegs from the peg bag. Right here. Hand me the two short poles, then the long one. Hey, if we do what they do, we'll find out what that tent is. These can be our, uh, what are they called? Poles. Yes, let's do it. It'll be an enlightening scientific procedure. I'm sorry, I don't. What? A fun experiment. Got it. You put this bit here, and this bit here, then this bit goes through here, like that. Put that bit there, and then the long one on top. Not there, there. Yes! Sure! It's not finished yet. Uh, They're putting the orange thing over the top. Keep it steady, Luke. That's it, Ooh. right over the poles. Wow. Keep it steady, Fleeker. That's it, right over the poles. You got it! Hooray, it's done! Hooray, it's done! Perfection. Cool! Luke, Evie, come on in and get your blankets and pillows. Okay, Mom! Whoa! Wow. Kind of looks like a big orange house. Indeed, but it's not as sturdy as the one the humans live in. There's that pumper thing! seems to be full of air. Well, whatever it is, it looks really bouncy. That looks like so much fun. I mean, um, as first officer, I believe I should experiment with the, um, the, the bouncy apparatus. <laughs> and as Junior Flugel, I think that I must investigate the asparagus uh, apparatus. Uh, uh, I mean, uh -oh. uh, she said. Huh. This puffy thing made a perfect landing pad. You know, in fact, I wouldn't mind taking a little nap on it. <laughs> it's soft enough to sleep on. Maybe it's a kind of bed. Come on, let's finish our investigation before the humans get back. Okay, what do we know so far? It doesn't let water in, and when you put the orange cover over sticks called poles... It looks like a house! Coming right up! Look at it! Time to make a quick getaway! <laughs> Woman's in her bedtime clothes. And look, she's carrying Mr. Chompers. Flugels, 
This might seem weird, but I think she's going to sleep in the tent. Huh? That is weird. Maybe, maybe not. We'll only know for sure if we continue Operation Copy the Humans. He's putting the bouncy bed inside. Got it. He's going in. Come on, Luke. It's really cozy in here. Oh, yes. It is cozy in here. Hmm. Wind factor zero. Ah! What was that? It was just a creature of the night, Boomer. And would that be a friendly creature of the night, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. That friendly creature of the night sure is big. Don't fear, Junior Frugal Boomer. I'll protect you. <laughs> ah! Chew! Ah, dust mites. Hmm. Relax, Junior Frugal Boomer. It was just the cat. I knew that already. Hurry up! Look alert! Dad Human's coming. Let's see what he's doing. Kids, who wants a hot dog? Gotta eat hot dogs when you're camping! Yeah, yes. I love hot dogs. <gasps> Did they say hot dogs? I mean, you know I'm not the dog's biggest fan, but that is taking things way too far. <laughs> no, silly. Hot dogs aren't hot dogs. They're a food. I know, yes, I, I knew that as well, in fact. That is something I knew. Yeah, I've had one before. They're mighty tasty. There's an extra hot dog if you guys are hungry. We're full, Dad. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, that is smoky. Okay, I'm going inside. You have fun out here. See what you can spot in the stars. I see. A fish! I see a bow and arrow. Oh, we gotta try this out. <gasps> Whoa. Pretty. It's like a blanket of sparkles. Look, I see a rocket. Oh no, it's definitely a flower. I see a hot dog and a hamburger and a pizza with pepperoni. Oh, boomer. boomer. Hmm. Hey, see that big twinkly star up there? Uh-huh. That's Flug. This is nice. I'm going to bed. Me too. It's fun sleeping out in nature, isn't it? <laughs> uh, sleeping in the garden is awesome. That must be why the humans do it. Yes, I believe we've found out everything we need to know. I could stay here forever. Me too, Boomer. But we've got a report to file. We can come back to the tent after, though. <laughs> Preparing to send, mission report tent. Ready, Flugels? Flugels, ready! Uploading report in T minus three, two, one, zero. Captain Fleeker Flugel reporting. Go ahead, Flugels. Today we discovered that humans like to sleep outside in cozy waterproof houses called tents. We made our own tent and can testify that it is very warm and cozy. First officer, Flo Flugel reporting. Sleeping outside means you see, hear, and smell exciting new things. Oh, and puppy beds are the best. You can sleep and bounce on them. Junior Flugel Boomer reporting. <laughs> Sleeping outside is awesome fun, as you can eat yummy things called hot dogs, which aren't really dogs. Who liked it? Excellent Flugeling. Ready to go camping out under the stars again. Just checking we have everything. Sticks, check. Raisin supplies, check. Tablet set to stargazer function, check. Fleeker, boomer, ready? <sighs> or maybe not. Zuger. Hey, boomer, you're gonna love what you've just seen. Boomer? Boomer! Where do you suppose he is? Yeah! <laughs> See you practicing your acrobatic skills, Junior Flugel Bummer. This isn't about skills, Captain. It's about food. I accidentally ate all the food on our spaceship. Luckily, I keep a secret snack supply in here. Come on, raisins. Come to Boomer. It's empty. Aw, I must have secretly eaten my whole secret supply of secret snacks. And I'm hungry. Then you're gonna love what we've just seen downstairs. 
We saw the humans preparing loads of food. And now they've gone out to get ice cream hmm. and left the kitchen full of awesome things to eat. All right. This I've got to see. Woo-hoo! Let's check out this feast. Oh. They made loads of pies and cakes and sandwiches and chicken legs. Oh. Oh. It's behind us. Huh? Where'd all the food go? It was right here. Wait a minute. Ooh. Is it behind those strange new shiny things? The humans didn't take the food with them. We watched them go out. Mm -hmm. And anyway, what are all those shiny lumps? And where's the delicious feast gone? Two very fine questions, Flugels. I don't know the answers, but I do know this. We found today's project. What are we? We're Flugels! Flinker! Boomer! We find, question, and explore everywhere we go! Highly mysterious, team. All the food has vanished and these strangely shaped metally things have appeared. Is this me thinking with my tumble or are they strangely food shaped metally things? You're right, Boomer. <sighs> they kind of look like metal statues of food. Well, humans do like to make statues of important things. And there's nothing more important than food. Well. These things are still and cold like statues. I'll take some readings. Check out that highly handsome flugel. Hey, maybe these things are food-shaped mirrors. What's the use of that? We hmm? can't eat a mirror. I'm picking up metal and food. Now, how can that be? There's only one explanation. All the food that the humans made has somehow turned into shiny metal lumps. That would be amazing. But how would they do it? And why would they? And most important of all, how do we change it back so we can eat it? I'm hungry. It makes no sense. Metal pies, metal cakes, metal sandwiches. Look over there. Uh, a really big... Uh, what do they call those long sticks of bread? Baguette? You see a baguette? Yes. And it's been metalized, too. It's so huge. So shiny. Let's go examine it. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, ma'am? <laughs> How clumsy of me. Wings? Magic wand? Oh, magical fairy princess. Have you changed all the food to metal? Will you tell me the magic words to change it back? Please? Boomer, you do know that's just a toy. It won't tell you anything. I'm afraid Flo's right. I wasted a whole hour last week questioning her about the humans. Nothing! Hmm. I wonder if there's anything inside. We need to examine this thing from all angles. It's empty! And hey! Whoa. It's moving! Boomer! Captain Bleeker! Make it stop! Missed! Whoa. What just happened, Fleeker? I don't know. It was all so fast. Look, the whole place has been turned to metal. But how? How? Any ideas, First Officer Flo? Huh? Hey, Flo? Huh. Flo? Where is she? <gasps> Flo! <gasps> it's no good, Boomer. She's been turned to metal, just like all the food. We've got to find out how to reverse this and save First Officer Flo. Fast. <sighs> Baker? Boomer? Oh, where are you? And where am I? First Officer Flo to Captain Bleaker. Boomer? It's me! Come in, please! All that tumbling has damaged my communicator. What happened just now? Ah, so it's not a metal baguette. It's rolled up metal. Amazing. I don't understand how it didn't squish me. This requires more investigation. Wow! This metal is super thin and it's super light. You can even tear it. Oh, I've got to get back up there and tell the others about this. This is the strangest thing I've seen since we came to this crazy planet. Is everything going to turn to metal? How can we stop it? You know who no? Flo. <laughs> Oh, you'd know just what to do if only you hadn't been turned to metal. I just want to hear your voice again saying... Hey, guys, what's going on? Junior Flugel Boomer, that impression of Flo is uncanny. That wasn't me. It was me. 
A little help, please. Whoa! <laughs> Where were you, Flo? I took a ride inside the shiny roll. Turns out it wasn't a metal baguette. It's some kind of amazing, super thin metal. I'm so happy you weren't turned into metal, Flo. Which must mean... This is Girl Human's toy. Oh, I'm really glad it wasn't you, First Officer Flo, but this still isn't good. I don't think the toy's turned into metal. I think it's just wrapped in it. Ah! Whoa, it's really true. Metal you can tear. Fear not, Fairy Princess. Brave Boomer shall save you like a knight in shining armor. She's the one wearing the shiny armor, Boomer. While Junior Flugel Boomer's busy rescuing the princess, we'd better clear up all the metal mess. <laughs> This foldy metal stuff is extremely awesome, but we still don't know what it's for. Well, we do know that it's great for wrapping around things, and you saw the humans make loads of food earlier. And every one of these lumps is food-shaped, so... They must have wrapped the food in the metal! That sure is how it looks. If only there was some way we could make absolutely definitely sure. Hmm. Okay, Junior Flugel Boomer. Just a tiny little piece. Yes! Mmm, cherry pie. Hey, it looks perfect. And it smells totally fresh and ready to eat. It sure does. Maybe that's what the metal is for. To protect food and keep it fresh. Okay, let's go. Flug alert! The humans are back. Hiding places, now! Boomer? Coming? Right behind you, Captain. This is great, Mom. We made so much food for our school spring festival. I helped too, you know. I did the very important job of wrapping it in aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. Cool. That's right, honey. The food will stay good and fresh, all thanks to you. There's a little hole in the foil. And then the pie. To check the pie was okay <laughs> after being wrapped in all that metal. Sure thing, Junior Flugel Boomer. And right now we've got to go file our report. <laughs> Preparing to send mission report aluminum foil. Ready, Flugels? Flugels ready! Uploading report yes. in T minus three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Captain Fleeker Flugel reporting. Go ahead, Flugels. Today we discovered aluminum foil, a special metal that humans wrap their food in. First officer, Flo Flugel reporting. We flugled out that foil is so thin and so light that you can bend it and tear it. Junior Flugel Boomer reporting. Foil is great for keeping food fresh and delicious. But next time I want to go on a speedy ride, I'll use my fizzer, not a roll of foil. Great work, team. Cool. Team, I've discovered another use for foil. Some might say an even better one. Now, that's what I call a ship with a view. Huh? <laughs>